He is making some Spanish fare as we celebrate the news. Say it's a Rona landing in the country. That's right. We've not got one, but we've got two dishes for you today. We're going to make a classic Spanish omelette or a frittata. So that's got um, potatoes, what we slice and slowly cook with onions, bake it, uh, the eggs around it so it's nice and thick and chunky. And we've also got the classic dish, patatas bravas. And if you go to Spain, you get this everywhere and everyone's got their own little twist on that. And basically it's just really fried uh, crispy potatoes with like a nice sort of paprika uh, mayonnaise on top. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna show you how to make those two recipes just a bit later. Now it's back to you guys. Great to have you with us. We're in the Beko Kitchen of Mark. We are making a couple of Spanish dishes as we celebrate Spanish week with the new Say It Arona. Uh, so which one are we gonna crack into first? Uh, right, I think we're going to get them both on the go. Oh, yeah, we'll, both. All good. We'll sort of I'm hungry. So right, good. so we're, we're going to start frying the uh, potatoes off for the potatoes. Okay. <laughs> Bravas. <laughs> right. right, so I've, I've uh, parboiled them. Yes. Drain them off so they're all nice and dry and parboiled. So I'm just going to dice them up now. Oh, that makes it speedier. Yeah, so it makes it a bit speedier and, and it's going to make them, um, yeah, get a nice crunchy... Um, outside. How much of the sour one do you want in here? Uh, a little bit more. You want more. to be quite generous but we are going to drain the potatoes off. Okay cool. Um, but we just need you know a good amount of oil just to get them nice and crispy. Done. Right Under and then the control. whole thing with the uh, potatoes bravas is the sauce on top. Ah, okay. And what right. did you say before it was? What sort of sauce? Like a paprika sauce? Yeah, yeah, so you got, yeah you've got paprika Yum. in there. Sort of like a flavoured mayonnaise. I can put a little bit more oil on there. Okay cool. Oh, in there. And then we're just going to start making this sauce now. So I've got a little bit of uh, red onion. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to sweat that down with some garlic. Just soften it. Just help with the flavours. And I'm also going to put like a, a tomato in there as well. And that's going to cook down. And the paprika. And we're going to cook that paprika out. Okay, great. And then the important thing is you want to let that cool down. And then we're going to blend that through the mayonnaise. Okay, cool. And do you move these potatoes around a lot or do you just let them cook in their own uh, and then you, turn them? You can uh, let them just uh, do, do, do okay, the thing. Cool. And then once they start getting a bit of colour, you can sort of toss them around. Okay, great. And then as it gets a bit hotter, you know, and, and the colour's on there, sort of uh, toss them a bit more frequently. Okay, cool. Let's hope I remember that. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> So the onions underway, got our potatoes yeah. underway. So onion softening, heaps of garlic, you know, heaps of garlic, heaps of paprika, what we yep. said yesterday, you know, they're all sort of uh, great Spanish ingredients. Paprika goes in there. Wow. So stir that, stir that around. Right, and then tomato, so I'm going to get some tomato in there. So you can roast these in the oven if you want, you know, if you're doing a large quantity. Yeah. So you just want to quarter them, take the tip of your knife and just take the seeds out. So we don't want the seeds in there. You now you can keep that. Keep that, put it in a different recipe or, or uh, collect them, put them in the freezer and then you know you can put them in a, a tomato soup or, okay. or anything like that. That sounds good. Uh, we'll just, uh, we'll do just you save them, them though Mark or do you just have them? Hey? Do you save them or do you just throw them away? No, I save them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be checking with your wife Paula on that one. <laughs> Okay, cool. So the tomato minus right. the pips go in here. Yeah, it's tomatoes minus the pips because we don't we don't want to be you know, we don't want this to be too um, too wet. You okay, know? cool. If it's too wet after you know your sauce is going to be it's just going to be like water. You know we want a little bit of consistency in there, but we want it thinner than mayonnaise so we can just uh, spin it over the top. Okay, cool. Just because you've got that amount of oil in there, it's just best to stir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should have told you that before. Good tip. That's why I'm here. It is a good tip. Yeah. Right, a little bit more oil in here. More oil? Okay, and then we're cool. going to start frying off some potatoes. So this is going to be the base of our um, uh, frittata now. Okay. okay. So just slice potatoes. Yes. That's quite a lot in there. So choose a really good pan as well. So a nice non-stick pan and whatever size pan you want to make the frittata. Okay, okay? so we're yeah. going to cook everything in the pan there. Great. So give the potatoes a bit of room. We'll start getting a bit of colour on there. And then we're going to have a white onion. Just peel it, cut it in half. And we want to do some nice thin slices. And we can just turn that down a little bit. Okay. And then you just want to cook these. The longer you cook these, the better. You know, you can get a little bit of colour on there, but they almost want to sort of comfy and slowly cook down with these onions as well. And you really bring the sweetness out of the onions. You know, so I mean, it's as simple as that. You know, it's just potatoes, onions. You know, you can pop some herbs in there, you can put some garlic in there, more paprika in there, put anything you want in there. Nice. But this is just the basic version. Okay, great. So that's going to slowly cook, and then oh, we'll yes. uh, we'll come back and see where we are. Nice work. Everything is smelling incredible here. We we'll get the next steps to make the betatas bravas. So that's just after we catch up with Holly. Right now, though, we are back in the Beko kitchen, and we are making delicious betatas bravas. Hola. Okay, cool. <laughs> 
Smelling good, looking good. These potatoes, are they crispy enough here, Mark? Yeah, no, I think we keep happy? going. Yeah, we're Bit starting more? to get some good colour, so just keep moving okay, them around. Cool. Uh, nice, even golden colour, that's what you're after. Okay, and great. then uh, once we're happy, we'll take them out, drain the excess oil, yep. and then just over the paper. And then we'll give them a good season, and then uh, we'll finish our sauce off. But here's our here's our potatoes and our onions. So that's all nice and soft, cooked down. So it's time for the eggs. Okay, great. So uh, you can pop the eggs in there. And we're going to put it all in the one pan, which is great. Well, that's exactly. Nice we, love, we love yeah, this. We love can you break that. an egg with one hand? No. Watch this. Oh, that is skill. Do you want to go? I'll have a go. <laughs> oh, God. Do you want shell <laughs> with that? Okay, cool. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh. Wow, upskilling every day here okay, at the cafe. Yeah. Uh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's shell in it, Mark. Get it out. Yes. All right, so we'll, we'll um, we've got some eggs there. So depending on the size of your pan, um, you know, whip as many eggs as you need. But we want, you know, we don't want a thin layer. We're not making a little um, sort of English omelet. You know, we're making a, a Spanish frittata. So nice, thick. You know, it wants to be like an inch of of solidly packed potatoes and Yum. onions and eggs. So all that goes in there. Right. You know, I reckon we, we can get another one in there. And then, so keep it on, keep it on that sort of heat, nice medium heat. And uh, and you can see the sides of the pans. It's uh, it's starting to cook now. Okay. So that's good. And these are done, you think, Chef? Yeah, you know they're done. Yeah, cool. drain them off and put them in. Okay. Cool. And then you can just sort of start stirring from the um, outside, and you just sort of get in that raw egg to go to go to the outside and the cooked egg in. And you're just helping it cook a little bit. Nice. Okay, so we're just gonna just gonna do that a little bit, and that'll just aid the omelette. And then once we're about halfway, you leave it. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it. It's a non-stick pan. Just make sure you've got a nice uh, distribution of the uh, potatoes and onion all around. Yeah. And then we're just gonna leave that, and we'll let that set, get a nice colour. You can throw it in the oven for like 10 minutes if you want, and it'll all bake together. Or we can flip it over, finish the other side, and then that's ready to go. But just make sure it's all cooked through. Nice and affordable, nice and delicious. Going to be fantastic. Oh, really, really, really good. Um, and I say, you know, you can put anything you want in here. Right. Okay. So let's fin finish that bravas sauce. Okay. Right. So we've got the um, the we're... onions, garlic, paprika. And tomatoes, which we've cooled down a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so important. Cook it right down, so it's you know there's not much moisture in there, and cool it down. Okay. Because if it's too hot and you put it in the mayonnaise, it's just going to go really. Um, well, you run the risk of splitting it. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, so we don't want that. Right. Um, Split little mayo is not the most attractive-looking thing, is it? Little hand blender. Okay, good. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Right, and then we just want to. Right, you can do that. Oh, yeah. You can do that. And we've got some more ingredients. Okay, cool. Right, because it's sort of Spanish and we know, we, you know, they're all feisty, aren't they, the Spanish? You yes. know, they love, they love a bit of spice and a kick. So I've got some chilli sauce. Okay. We're just going to pop in there. You know, look at that nice, a nice sort of pinky red blush in there. Um, and a little bit of red wine vinegar as well, just for a bit of acidity in there. That'll really bring out the flavour. A little bit of salt and pepper. Please make sure you've got the right camera angle on this, otherwise it'll look very weird. <laughs> so keep, keep doing it till it's nice and soft. And taste that, oh, it's beautiful. You've got all those flavours coming out. And it, here's a tip for you as well. <laughs> all right, stop, stop. Okay. Here's a tip for you now, right? Uh, mix it up, blend it, pop it in the fridge for like half an hour, an hour, mm. and all those flavours will come out. So even if you make it the day before, you'll get a lot more flavour. And then, oh, wow, that is good. And that's great, and that's going to come out a little bit more. And then all you've got to do, pile your potatoes up in a bowl and just spoon that over the top and a little uh, sprinkle of paprika on the top, but make sure the potatoes are nice and warm and it is beautiful. Simple, delicious. Very simple, yeah. And really affordable too, you know. You've just got the basics. You're zhuzhing up potatoes, really. OK, thank you, Mark. It's going to be amazing. We'll serve up the final dish before the end of the show. Mark, we can't get on a plane, but you can bring Spain to us. <laughs> I know, I, I, I have. Look at that. It's incredible. Okay, what are you doing tomorrow? All right, tomorrow we've got our churros, which is Spanish donuts. 